What's going on everybody? Today I'm reviewing Growthly.io, which is a, a, a tool that automates LinkedIn outreach. And I've heard uh, it's pretty cool when it comes to personalization and stuff like that. So I'm going to walk you through the registration. First of all, we need to register. So this is my email. Feel free to steal it or email me. And we have some password. Now the invitation code. And we are in. Oh my God, this is awesome. I do believe we need to connect LinkedIn account with this thing. But first of all, there's some form here, which I'm not going to pay attention to, I guess. <clears throat> but I'll go here and I see this. This is the first time I'm seeing this, so I don't even know. LinkedIn account credentials, yes. Location, Czech Republic, time zone, we got it. Makes the subscription safe. Let's see what happens. Can they access my LinkedIn account? So a lot of these extensions uh, on LinkedIn are problematic because you get banned or you get blocked or something like that. But what they do, they they use different IP addresses. So I'll explain that later, but you can see sign in verification. Please enter the verification code that has been sent to your email. So I'm in my email and this is the verification. So let's verify the account. This company does also like um, manage services with the outreach as well as I think there's a limit to send 100 invites per day and they kind of mimic human behavior. So essentially this is a tool similar to like all the email outreach tools, but finally there's a way to do this on scale and still personalize. So we'll see. Cool. We're in, I guess. Yes, we are in. This is my profile. Getting started. What, what is this? Getting started. Add your LinkedIn account. Yes. Add campaign, add personalized message. Message. So let's go to dashboard. What is this? Total members invited, connected, replies, messages sent. Okay, so here's gonna be the dashboard campaign. Add new campaign. Let's add. I'll try to do I'll try to do CTOs, let's say. Scale ups. I don't know. Short description of your campaign. Connecting with these guys. Connection message. Wait, is that gonna be displayed there or not? Autorespond, add a new autorespond integrations. Can do that, campaign management, okay. So connection request limit from 15 to 25 per day. Send empty connection requests without a personal note. Definitely not because you will definitely decrease your acceptance rate. So create new connection message. Let's do it. I think you need to do that first, right? Connection message, okay, got it. So here's the template message name. CTO message name. Okay, so this is like message text. This is for connections. So this is not for uh, sending, uh, you know, in mails and stuff like that. So message name can be like CTO and then message text. Hi. And let's let's try how this works. You can see that this is the working here user field. Hi, first name. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea who I'm going to connect with, so I'm, I'm not sure what to say, but let's say something like find out more about your digital initiatives, right? It's kind of a salesy thing. Test drive your message. Okay, what else can we say? Location, title, and then you have custom variable. Hmm. So here, the custom variable could be something very personalized, but I'm not going to do that for now. Let's say save. We can attach campaign. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so now let's go back to campaigns. Hey, my first campaign description, blah, blah, blah. Connection message. We will select the CTO. Okay, got it. Connection request limit from 13 to 25 per day. 250. What's gonna say? Nothing. 35 per autoresponder messages limit by schedule. Okay, I don't want to send on Sunday or Saturday or on Friday. I'm just going to send on these enable working or let's say Friday working days, working days from let's say 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Run campaign every three hours. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Save. Let's see what happens. I haven't started my audience yet, so. Campaign successfully updated. Okay. Autoresponder message. Send after a couple of days. Okay. 
integrations so we have this we can start we need to add members and this is fu funny how this works data view so let's add members we can search with sales navigator unfortunately on this account i do not have sales navigator it's on my other account we can import saved leads import uh, saved searches or we can add existing connections so if you have a large network manual and add members with basic LinkedIn search let's do basic LinkedIn search connection level first second okay keywords hmm. title okay if you do this this should work chief technical officer or CTO okay nothing else company locations can I do Europe? No. Can I do Germany? Yes, you can. So let's do like Germany. Hmm. Why can't you do country? Oh, Kenya. Okay. Um, UK. I think that's it. Let's just do this. Industries. It doesn't really matter. Current companies, schools, past companies. takes five to ten minutes depending on your search request please wait while we'll load your data all right so here we have some people these guys are loaded uh, these guys are CTOs I'm not sure what this guy is doing here Johnny Andrews hmm, that's pretty weird you see I'm not sure let me check him just to be sure that there's no mistake what is this okay so he's a technical leadership CTO consultancy okay got it okay so basically this is how the tool works this is a this is a demo account and uh, I'm gonna show you the LinkedIn function as well so here's how you can see your statistics uh, you can then obviously look into the campaigns uh, you have different campaigns here so let's click on all campaigns and you can see that for example in this specific campaign we're approaching 82 people 64 messages 28 connections we've got 17 responses and 53 withdrawn so let's look at this campaign data view what is this i don't know let's see okay so here are the the names of people their profiles so what happens after uh, zero days there's a new message then after six days another message so what is this one new message number two okay so we can see that the first follow-up after the connection that's why it says plus zero days i guess uh it says a pleasure to connect i wanted to share a marketing sales technical tool for linkedin agencies that can benefit from from please to allow me to justify the value blah 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 how can how you and your clients can reach three thousand people so let's look at the connection messages so you obviously have to break down your audience so we have sales managers hey first name notice your pro profile as a sales professional at your company i thought to reach out to be honest this seems a little bit um a little bit automated then when you go to autoresponders which is the follow-up sequence you can see that this is the sequence you will receive after you connect with somebody so this one is for agencies in the states and business development so blah 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 first message okay then there's another message just circling back to see if maybe you had time to blah 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 then another one have you had a chance to review my message blah 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 okay another one and another one and another one so these are the follow-ups right you can create them on your own there's so many variables you can use i mean it's it's really i mean on linkedin i wouldn't treat it as a cold email to be honest because in cold email you usually set up like three or four follow-ups and um, within one maybe you share a case study the other one you link to like a demo or something but with this i wouldn't do that i would maybe try to push them towards like a opt-in or like a lead magnet uh, but since you are prospecting, I don't think that's necessary because they have never opted in to receive your information. So I can, I think you can get just straight down to business and just ask them some pre-qualifying questions, which can be anything from, hey, so how are you prospecting right now? If you're selling this tool, right? Or if you're selling uh, app development, you can uh, ask them, hey, so... What are you doing with the corona right now are you trying to you know speed up your product development or run a new uh, or build a new product line because you might be go out of business so there's so many th things to do now let's go and open emails i i don't really understand this one 
Okay, so this is clear. This is a basically a cold email just on LinkedIn. I, I don't think people like this, but let's let's look at the, uh, this. So you have a subject line partnership opportunity to offer a new service to your clients. I would just delete this, but for a demo purpose, this this is this is nice. Hey, first name, quickly introduce myself. I'm da 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 da. We have been helping agencies. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, and so. This works like a cold email. It's just that it's a social network. People are tuned off by this. And I still think a cold email outperforms LinkedIn much better in, in this sort of open email invitations. I do believe connection requests are beautiful because there's an, you know, you get a basically an intimate relationship with somebody straight off the bat, which is something you cannot do through an email because they can check you out they can see your history they can see who you are if you post content all these things will matter so one thing i also wanted to show you is to when you're adding a new campaign and you have a sales navigator as i am um as i'm having it in this account uh, you can create uh, the campaign but also you can use an import feature and it's right here i don't know why they put it here because logically I would put it here into add members. So let's say this is your campaign. You just save it for the purpose of example. And then you go into adding members and you want to add LinkedIn people. So you can import tag leads on sa sales navigator. You can tag people within the sales navigator platform, which is super useful, right? You can import saved search. If you're doing something bigger, search by URL, search within the sales navigator, which is easy. You just click on this and you go by keywords, by industry, anything like that. So this is pretty serious. But if you're running an ABM and you have exported those leads and you're writing custom opening lines, let's say, so you're doing like very specific targeting, you then go here into export import and you import from CSV. I'll add it into this and it would be a crazy campaign because you would then match the 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 filter within the excel spreadsheet it would say maybe custom variable number one and you could use it in the description over here um as as part of that so uh, pretty cool stuff going on over here guys so you can see he's using integrations you can use google sheets you can use a bunch of them to be honest it really depends on the size of your campaign if once we look at the, his campaigns you can see that okay he's reaching out to 82 people 700 then there's 21 1380 then there's 556 right um, and all these 3608 this would be something that is impossible because what i suggest is breaking this down so like even though you have agencies in the united states they are not the same so some of them might offer like marketing some of them might offer digital marketing some of them might offer design more some of them might be more on the development side so it's like you can't send the same message to all the same agencies even if you can offer them a white label solutions like they do i don't think it's a, it's like the the best thing to to do because i don't know it seems um not custom right and so the few things that I'd like to highlight about this tool are these. So the, you have a dedicated IP, so you'll never get detected as compared to the other tools. Your location is for dedicated IP set. You have a limit of 100 invites per day, but also the same for autoresponder. It kind of represents human behavior, which is cool. So it doesn't send like 25 LinkedIn invites in one second, but it kind of spreads it out. It doesn't trigger uh, a spam filter on LinkedIn or something like that. You can send multiple campaigns at the same time and you can send 50 emails to any open profile with sales navigator. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, I would uh, use it definitely if I'm promoting a webinar or, you know, an ebook or a white paper. But if I'm just trying to get a meeting with somebody or offer or services or something, I would not really do it through sales navigator so the big thing here you can also upload your csv file where you can have linkedin accounts you can have the first name the last name you can have a title and company and maybe you can have a custom variable something like uh you know first sentence and that way you can basically do a cold email campaign here and basically there are three plans so you can see for business you have basic pro and advanced here you have a basic linkedin search messaging sequences dashboard this is good if you're just beginning i, I would stick with this 
If you're doing something more serious and you need also Sales Navigator, which is also expensive, you can import CSVs into Pro where I would definitely go here. And this is like, for me, the biggest value add. Because I can imagine an account-based marketing, no, I can imagine an account-based marketing campaign where Let's say that we have a email campaign going out. Maybe somebody's calling people or something like that. And let's say we target enterprise and we can't get an email or we can't, we are not getting a response on the email. So we, the same people we're targeting on the emails, we could scrape from LinkedIn, get their contact, uh, get their URLs, nothing else really. And create a CSV file with a custom opening line for a connection. That's a game changer. That would mean that we would say something like, Hey, John, last week I emailed you about whatever. And I noticed that you guys are currently, you know, prioritizing this strategy at Microsoft or something. This would have to be written manually in the CSV file. However, the chances of them agreeing to connect with you are very high because you are being cussed. And make sure to try it out at growthly.io. Um, I don't think there's a solution like this on the market worth trying out. And uh, yeah, you can use this in combination with your cold emails. So whether you send somebody a connection request first or email, it's up to you. But what I would suggest, start with this, connect with people first, and then send them an email. But not necessary if you're running an abm strategy so if you're gonna cold email 3000 people there's no point of you adding them first on linkedin because you're not doing account-based marketing but if you're going after enterprise or if you're having like a very niche market and you know that this is something that you need to use in your prospecting use this to connect with all the people in the accounts no selling and then maybe three days later use email uh, whether you use Mailshake or Woodpecker or some other tools, doesn't matter. But uh, using this in combination is great. And, um, you know, finally you can kind of combine these things and build them an integration maybe you know, with Growth Lead and Woodpecker or Growth Lead and Mailshake or Growth Lead and uh, Outreach.io, whatever it is. And then you have you have pretty good prospecting system. So hopefully this was great. And uh, yes, what else? I think that's it. So let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any questions about the messages to use, about how to use this tool or whatever, leave me down below and I will definitely answer them. So thank you very much for watching and let's keep in touch, but go to growthly.io. Go to growthly.io.